Hi, my name is Nancy Soleri, host of the Living Full Out Show. We have a variety of listeners that deal with fears of all different kinds. And when you have a fear, sometimes it's false evidence appearing real. It's not a real fear. It's something that plays in your mind, but maybe has never happened, but you worry about it. And other times a fear can come from something that has happened and you're concerned that it might happen again. When I was a child, I grew up in a domestic violence situation. Not every day was violent, but many of them were. And when I later in life would hear a couple argue or maybe a glass break, and, and I would wonder, gosh, is there something going on? Should I stand up and be ready to jump in the middle and, and break up a fight or, or be in need of the man or the woman who may need support? It, it made that 10-year-old girl be more aware, be more sensitive to those triggers. Later in life, I had a situation where somebody broke into my apartment when I was there. Now, it worked out that it was kind of a mistake and there's too long a story to go into now, and they weren't violent criminals coming to attack me. But after they left, because they had broken in, they had broken my screen door, I, 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 I had to listen. I, many, many months later, I was listening for every sound at night, wondering, is someone breaking in again? And those triggers stayed with me. Just like when I was a little girl, just like when somebody broke into my place, I eventually had to clear the space in my mind. I had to say, you know what? There might be a sound in my apartment. It doesn't mean somebody's breaking in. And you know what? A couple might be having an argument. It doesn't mean they're gonna start hitting each other. I want you to think about where in your life you have triggers. Where in your past are you walking on eggshells, worried that something could happen in the future? And I really want you to think about just embracing today. Let the past be in the past. Let those triggers not be something that uproots your day, takes your power away, because to live full out means that you have hope in your heart, that you're excited for the future and leaving the past in the past. If you need more support on this topic, go to livingfullout.com and we'll be there to give you all the motivation you need. Here's to you living your life full out. Thank you for watching the Living Full Out YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button. And if you're interested in the content we provide, please hit the subscribe button. Now for more inspirational content, click the video on the right to get to know me, Nancy Soleri, certified life coach and host of the Living Full Out show. To get motivated, click on the video on the left so you can hear the Living Full Out show and be inspired by our guests and callers. If you're empowered by our videos, feel free to make a comment. We'd love to hear from you. As always, here's to you living your life full out.